on the night of December 8, 2013, the streets of Little India were in chaos. A riot had broken out, the first in Singapore in over 40 years. The spark that ignited the riot was the tragic death of Mr. Saktival Kumaravelu, who died when he fell into the path of a private bus at the junction of Teka Lane and Racecourse Road. I'm here with Zahan Mama Yusuf, who was then a correspondent in the new paper. He was on duty that fateful night. So Zai, just tell us your reaction when you first received the call. To be honest, I thought it was a joke. Within three minutes, I got another call and that call was more serious. It was describing mayhem at the scene, hundreds of rioters and ambulance. Immediately, I called my colleague, Jonathan Chu. We took the CTE and we arrived here just before Hampshire Road. The year before, my wife was pregnant and this was the road that I used to go through whenever I wanted to eat curry at uh, Racecourse Road. And it was the right road to use because it was unblocked. There were many people coming out at that time and also there were cars, police cars, racing towards the incident site at Racecourse Road. I had a sense of what was going on when evacuating migrant workers. As they left, they looked at me and shouted at me, Singapore, Singapore. So that was a shocker to me. What was your instinctive reaction? I wanted to confront them and ask them, hey, why are you angry at me? I, I, I didn't do anything, I just arrived here. Uh, but of course, my colleague Jonathan Chu, he said that, hey, stay in the car, you know, just, just, just be focused. We don't know what is happening. You saw something that indicated that it was going to be a long night for you. What do you see? As we got closer to the edge uh, at the junction between Hampshire Road and Racecourse Road, I saw a burning police car on my left. I didn't know what was the reason for this. It gave us an indication that it was going to be a long night for us. From here, it was clear the roads were clogged with people, a few hundred of them at least. Some were throwing things towards the bus, the front windscreen, and burning vehicles in the background. I didn't know what it was. Just before reaching this point, I told Jonathan Chu that we should split. He should go to the scene. I decided to pass by this area into Rotan Lane and towards uh, Belialus Road to park the car. Along the way, there were a few police officers in the area, but um, it wasn't a strong presence just yet. Something dramatic happened to you along this very road. Just share with us what happened. Well, I was walking uh, on the inside, this area here, and I heard a sound coming from behind me. And that noise actually came from a wall of migrant workers coming towards me. And they looked angry. I didn't know what they were saying, but it was loud. And they were coming towards me. And I had to think very quick, either to run or to stay. A woman at this shop, Kian Heng, this particular shop here, she opened the shutters of a shop and grabbed me by my neck and pulled me into the shop and locked the door. That saved me from, you know, uncertainty. And, and for five minutes, I stayed there and she told me, no, 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 not to go out. Stay here, stay here. It's safer here. I didn't know at the same time that Jonathan Chu, he was also having a little bit of trouble. The rioters noticed that he had been taking photographs. So the rest turned towards me. The nearer person was holding a rock. And then shouted at me and then so he grabbed my camera. Grabbed the stripe of the camera. So I see, I, after seeing this, the whole big group start to react, uh, I know trouble. So I know that I already got a picture, I have to run for my life. So all I, all I know is just I make a hard pull from the guy, the red shirt guy, and I dash off. When I dash off, uh, I hear people pop, 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 pop sound coming. I don't know. That's rock safe, throw at me. So when you're inside the shop for five minutes, what do you hear outside? We were all quiet because we didn't want to attract any attention towards us. But from the outside, we can hear shouts. I didn't know where it was. It was in Tamil. And I also heard the banging of shutters. It went on for about maybe a few minutes and then it disappeared, it tapered off. As a journalist, instinctively, something tells you that you have to come out and see and observe, you know. So I decided to leave Kian Heng after about five to 10 minutes. Finally made your way to Racecourse Road. So what do you see here? So at this point, things became very much clearer. I was standing about here, maybe about four or five cars away from the stricken bus and I was next to an auxiliary police officer. So from here, I could see migrant workers, the rioters picking up drain covers, hurling it at the bus windscreen, people kicking the bus. I'm, I mean, it was utter chaos. So I stayed here together with this uh, officer 
who told me that it's safe. A few seconds later after he said, had said that, rocks, bottles, everything landed in front of us. So we evacuated to a safer place, maybe about 20 metres in the background. So now we're here where the strip bus was. You were some distance away observing. But what time did you finally manage to go to the office to write your story? Well, I must have returned to the office at about 2 a.m. Uh, because I wasn't able to get my car as there was a mini riot going on just where, at the location where I parked the car. So we had to wait a little bit that night. There were many things on my head. I was thinking, how did this happen and we didn't see it coming? You know, it was perhaps a wake-up call for all of us. It plays emphasis on how we deal with migrant workers, how we treat them because that night they were angry. Many things have changed in front of us. There's now a bus interchange where it used to just be fields over here. There's one more bus interchange at the rear. Drinking hours, of course, have been curtailed here. Uh, you can't drink anymore out in the open like how it used to be. Speaking to residents and shopkeepers here, some of them are very happy because there's more order and the place is cleaner. I guess we've learned some things, but at the expense of this little India riot. <laughs>